Hi everybody, this is Chen Fei Wu from NLC Group of MSIA. This is a joint work with Lei and Nan from our group. It is also a joint work with MSIA System Group. Nuwa, the mother goddess of Chinese mythology, is known as creating humanity and repairing the pillar of heaven. We name our work as Nuwa because in this talk, we ask how to enable AI with the ability of Nuwa to create, repair, and even edit the visual world around us. Let's talk about what and why first. What is visual content creation? Visual content creation aims to create, edit, and contribute visual materials to the online world. So why do we focus on these visual materials? In one word, they are crucial for business. Evidence has shown that people retain 80% of what they see, and the human brain processes images 60,000 times faster than text. Cool, right? And naturally, images and videos attract a wider audience from different regions. You will not need to translate your ads or products to different languages. A picture is worth 1,000 words. Talking about the trend, 86% of business use video as a marketing tool in 2021. This was 81% in 2019 and just 63% in 2017. An amazing statistic shows that 96% of people have watched an industrial video to learn more about the product or service in 2021. And most importantly, people are twice like to share video with their friends than any other media in 2021. In summary, video content is powerful and visual content creation is crucial, especially for business. Although visual content creation is crucial, it is never an easy stuff. Even creating the raw content is quite time consuming. You may search from the internet, but you may face pattern issues. You may take a photograph by yourself, but you may have to buy a camera and find a place and maybe spend a long day to finally find what you want. You may draw by yourself, but it is slow and it requires rich experience. However, visual content creation is more than this raw content. You need to further edit them. For example, you may need to add some animations, change the styles, remove the background, and so on. To achieve this, you have to learn how to properly use photograph or movie maker to create or edit visual contents. And after all these time-consuming stuff, these visual content can be finally posted online to create values and bring business profits. As a result, more and more tech giants turn their attention to understand create, and even edit visual contents. In this year, OpenAI proposed Doi, a 12 billion GPT-3, which has strong zero-shot ability to generate images from text descriptions. In this year, Google proposed MUM, a powerful search engine for both visual and language information understanding. In this year, Facebook proposed Meta Universe to provide a better user experience, for example, creating visual reality for users. That's why we propose a new one. Our goal is to build a large-scale pre-training model to enable controllable transformations between text, image, and video, and help creators to improve their content creation or editing productivity. Pre-training with big data, large model, NLP, and CV technologies, new one supports free style transformations in this visual world. In this talk, let's start with three basic transformations. They are text image transformations, text video transformations, and image video transformations. This graph shows the relations between these transformations. The text on the top is the sea waves are beating the shore. And the corresponding image on the left shows a beautiful sand shore with waves and cloud. And the right is a corresponding video, and we can see the action of beating the shore. So what Neural does is to enable controllable transformations between the three modalities. For example, text to text, text-to-image generation, image-to-text generation, text-to-video generation, video-to-text generation, and image-to-video generation. Let's come to the first part. In the first part, we focus on visual generation. That is, controllably generate images or videos. To generate images or videos with several frames, we use VQGAN to pre-process pre them first. Input image X with a size of capital W times capital H times 3, a CNN encoder is used to encode the raw image. Then, with the help of a learnable visual dictionary, the encoded features are quantized into discrete tokens. 
we can see that the resulting discrete matrix Z has a smaller size of small w times small h times 3. Mm, then these discrete tokens are remapped and fed into a CNN decoder to reconstruct the original image. Further, a CNN discriminator is used to discriminate whether the image is real or not. In summary, VHOGAN can be used to convert between continuous images and discrete tokens. So we can view VHOGAN as a visual tokenization of visual information. Here is the architecture of our model. It contains three parts. The language input part, visual input part, and the visual output part. As we can see, the visual tokens are generated auto-regressively by collecting all the language information and locally context aware visual information. An important design here is that we only separate encoder-decoder by modalities instead of input and output. We can see that the visual input and the visual output are in the same in decoder. We designed this because we asked the model to learn common sense knowledge shared between images and videos. This design enables neural with a strong zero-shot ability for visual generation. In addition, this design enables our model supporting plenty of downstream visual generation tasks. For example, you can simply input a text and ask Neural to generate a proper image just as DOI. But it can do much more than that. You can generate videos from text, even generate videos with a restriction of both text and image. You can also ask for visual-to-visual -visual translation. For example, input an image and ask the prediction future frames of the image. Video generation has never been so simple with Neural. Let's talk about some implementation details here. Firstly, we use data augmentation to improve the generalization ability. We use this video as an example. We first randomly sample a clip of an original video and resize a randomly crop, crop it into a square. We further conduct a horizontal flip on the video since the semantic representation will keep the same. We also conduct a color jitter here, which randomly changes the brightness, contrast, and saturation of a video. For text-to-image and text-to-video generation, we also use the video clip to choose the best video or image that matches the input text best. Video clip is trained separately and has a strong zero-shot ability for visual and language matching. To train a large-scale video generation model, we incorporate three kinds of parallel training. The tensor model parallelism divides self-attention operations between GPUs. The pipeline parallelism divides layers between GPUs, like that. As we'll, and the data parallelism, as we all know, divides data between GPUs, like that. We train these three versions of NUVA. NUVA base is trained on 70,000 text video pairs, and we add multi dataset supporting for medium and large version. The final large model has 1.72 billion parameters with a resolution of 336 times 336, and it takes a month to finish the training. Now, let's see what Neural can do. Firstly, let's generate some images from text. Let's start from some easy ones. A woman is talking in an interview. Pretty cool, right? How about adding some feelings? A sad-looking puppy staring at the camera. The puppy really looks sad. Let's try some hard ones. A small closed toilet in a cramped space. The toilet is really small. Let's try a very specific description. A black and white landscape photograph of a black tree on a foggy autumn morning. I think this is poetry, right? So how about the generating images with the exactly layout we want? For example, we want a vase with flowers, like this strange shape, and it is on a table beside a wall. And the generated result. Cool, right? And you can try some more complex things, like a giraffe and a zebra, a large building, and even a messy room with a lot of things. Generating images are necessary for creating the visual world, but it is not sufficient. Here we talk about a more challenging task, that is creating videos directly from text. For example, a person is preparing some art. What would the model generate? Someone is drawing a flower or something. Let's try another one. A clip showing a computer screen which contains instructions. Cool, right? And more samples, 
like Minecraft or put egg into the water. So how about generate video as you wish, just like a director? Yes, you can do that. Let's say if you have a video scratch like a man is working in a room and the generated result would be cool, right? Let's see another example. This seems to be an outside thing and the generated video is, yeah. Another two examples with screen and skin are also shown here. Let's try something interesting. What if you got an image and we want to predict the video in the future? For example, let's give Newer a hawk on the sea. What would Newer gonna imagine? The hawk just catches some fish. Interesting, right? And if you are taking a plane and see the outside window, what would Newer imagine? The camera is moving. How about a sailing boat or a calm lake? Uh, this is not a calm lake, it is choppy. And the final sample shows how the water flow cascades down. Cool, right? Creating is a crucial ability, but a good content creator can not only create them, but also repair or edit them, just like Newell, who repairs the pillar of heaven. For example, given a picture of a lighthouse on the shore, what if we want to make it disappear? That is easy. You just tell Newell that there's no lighthouse here. There's only beach and sky in this region. And this is the generated result. So deletion is OK, but what about adding something? For example, this is a wallpaper on the window desktop. desktop. What if we want a horse running on the grassland? Newell can do that too. And how about and how about changing something, like uh, I want a polar bear here. Cool, right? And what if we just want to change the part of the object in the image? Like this young man may have an interview and uh, let us find him a suit for this guy. That's it. Easy as pie. And interestingly, you can make these images move easily like this. Let's try something crazy. Would the new world change the history, like change things goes? For example, this man is climbing down the wooden, hole, wooden wall. What if we want to let him climb up the wooden wall? Yes, you can do that. And for these clouds, if you do not like them, you can ask new world to let them float over the sea. You can even let a car reversing and even shaking. Amazing, right? That's the first part. In the second part, let me introduce my colleague Lei, and she will introduce Nua for the language generation. OK, now I will introduce Nua model from the other direction, vision to language task, including image text and video to text task. These tasks are also called visual captioning. Given an image or a video, the goal is to generate a sentence to describe the visual content. So automatically text generation from unstructured perceptual inputs has become an important challenge for community, uh, uh, computer vision and multimedia information retrieval communities. Solving it can be useful for video indexing and retrieval assistance for the visually impaired automatic question generation and answering about the environment for robotics and real-time generation of video captions for civilian system. So in the following talk, I will first introduce the model architecture and then uh, introduce several experimental results as well as the real application scenarios in our product. Vision and language training has achieved impressive performance on many downstream tasks. In the talk, we present this generic pre-training and fine-tuning framework as part of our NUAR model. This framework is an end-to-end -end generative pre-training framework for generation tasks. The model architecture is a typical encoder and decoder framework. On one hand, we train this model from both image text pairs and video text pairs. There are relatively good high-quality image text data, which is used to train a good image model. And one frequently adopted strategy for video network is to initialize it by the pre-trained image network. As a video is a temporal sequence of image frames, 
This transformer-based architecture is flexible and allow us to train with variable length sequences. And image is actually taken as a single frame video. So on the other hand, to effectively train the model, we adopt a two-stage training. In the first stage, we mainly train the encoder to learn a better multimodal representation. And in the second stage, we train the generative decoder to generate the sentence and fine-tune the encoders as well. We mainly focusing on three tasks, including the image captioning, video captioning, as well as uh, controlled image captioning. The controlled condition uh, here is a trace of the image, which I will introduce later. So we directly adopt the well pre-trained clip model from OpenAI, which is trained from four, over 400 million text and image pairs. And then we further pre-train our model using the video and text pairs on over 100 million text and video pairs from how to 100 web dataset. So the visual backbone is the VIT base, the vision transformer, which divides the image into uh, 32 plus 32 sized patches and input with uh, 49 patches. So since the video processing is very time consuming and resource consuming, it takes over uh, half of the one and a half of the day to complete one epoch on 64 V100 GPUs for video and language pre-training. Here is the video captioning result. As shown in the table, we achieved the state-of-the-art results on widely used MSR VTT dataset. And also, we shown some of the examples. Uh, we have shown one of the examples on the left side. This is a perfect match. And uh, on the right side, we have several other interesting cases. Uh, the first example shows that the model is capable of generating sentences with different utterance, but the same semantic meaning with ground truth, like the object painted X are the same with the toys in the prediction. The second showcase presents that the model can describe the visual content from different perspectives. The ground truth captioning focuses on the ballroom, but our model focuses on the actions. Besides, we also found that both the text and audio in the video are actually important for the captioning. In the third case, the self-driving car is the focus of the video, but not the man. So in this case, we need the OCR techniques to actually understand the car in this video. And in the last case, the audio is important. We need to, the model to listen to the video to actually understand what they are actually talking about. So next, this is a controlled image caption result. The controlled caption is a trace uh, here. In order to understand the details of the image as well as the customized captioning, the trace is the most natural signal to control which part in the image to describe. People can select the partial they want to, the agent to describe through the trace. From the qualitative experiment, we can see that our model achieves the best result and outperforms the state-of-the-art result in a large margin. And the trace is very important for generating customized description. From the quantitative experiment, the shown case here, that on one hand, different colors correspond to the description in the same color, compared with the baseline, which is without the trace, and the ground truth, the model can generate some details of the image. For example, the blue and the purple part in the image, which is missed in the baseline prediction. And also, the baseline prediction didn't follow the trace to describe. So finally, I will describe two real scenarios applied to our product. For image captioning, in PowerPoint, there is already a function called outText, which can generate an alternative text for a given image. The function is shown on the right side. By clicking the button, generate an image uh, description for the image, it can generate a sentence with the confidence. And similarly, it can also generate the captions for short videos, uh, especially the GIF formatted files. And uh, this is, video is actually generated by Chenfei. The second real scenario is in Bing video search. In the search detailed page, for some of the videos, the video chaptering function is provided. 
The long video is structured into several chapters. Each chapter is a present with the timeline of each chapter, with the start and end time, and the thumbnail of the image, as well as a sentence description. With this feature, people can quickly search inside the video, overview the video content, or skip directly to the interesting part. Many platforms are trying to support this feature, most of which rely on the structured data uploaded by the human to the website. To sum up, we highlighted three of our thoughts. First, our natural language processing and computer vision tend to be unified, including backbone, representation, as well as a pre-training task. For vision backbone, Visual transform is becoming the new trend, and many recent works tries to improve the vision transformer by taking the advantage of a convolution. And for the representation format, as Chen mentioned, discrete visual tokens are important for visual content creation. This discrete visual token technique is also important for visual and text understanding. Secondly, Multimodal AI becomes an innovation frontier. For visual and language representation, most of the current vision and language pre-training focuses on learning a universal vision language representation, which is not only important for multimodal tasks, but also important for visual and text only tasks, especially for the uh, recently text guided visual representation learning like Clip from the OpenAI. For the content creation, both retrieval, retrieving or creating video content are important for the online world. The currently uh, retrieval results are of high quality, but it is hard to deal with non-existing ones. While generation models are creative for the new content, but it may suffer from the efficiency or accuracy. Another promising research direction is the common sense knowledge from the visual corpus. The current captions for the image lack of details and the clarification of the common sense knowledge, like uh, the human is playing the ball, but not what is not happening, like the man is not sleeping or the man is not drinking. This knowledge can be learned from the real world instead of the text world. Finally, visual content creation leads novel AI applications. An intuitive way is a multimodal search engine, question answering, dialogue system. Either vision only or text only query cannot fully represent the intention of the user, especially for something new. And a visual encode input plus a text description are complementary to each other for a perfect input. Another ambitious goal is AI assistant image and video editing. Chen Fei already showed promising results for text-controlled visual creation and editing. In the long term, we are thinking to create a new generation of visual editing tool for controlled visual editing. Thanks for your listening.